So what was the internal reaction like, you know, year two of Mac Jones, and they're like, we're going to bring in Joe Judge and Matt Patricia. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was rough, bro. It yeah. was rough. Everybody feels the same. Christian D'Andrea here for USA Today Sports, and here as a born and bred Rhode Island scumbag with, I mean, a guy who is an idol back there, a guy who, who helped make Mac Jones a viable quarterback for a while, a guy who's run after catchability, really jumped off the page in New England. Kendrick Bourne, Kendrick, how you doing today, yes, baby? Yes, sir, I'm doing great, bro. All right, so, so first good. and foremost, how's that knee doing? I mean, you doing missed the well. Tennessee, yeah? Doing well, yeah. doing well. Yeah. Rehabbing every day, okay. making sure I'm right. Got a good PT, man, yeah. on a consistent schedule, so ahead of schedule. Yeah. How long do you think before you can trust that you can make some cuts on it? So I'm actually in a good place. Like, yeah. I can I can move pretty well. Like, okay. I could probably run right now. You think? I, yeah, I'm going to do it on camera so they know. No, yeah. no but I, it's more of the stopping. So, yeah. you know, usually injuries happen when you stop. So yeah. thank God it was a contact injury. It wasn't a mechanical issue with my yeah. running. So it was cool that it was contact, man. So I can run right now. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, I mean, you're pending free agent. Is that going to factor into your decision? Not the knee, but like, are you going to be like, I don't want to go to, I don't want to go to New York. I don't want to play on that turf with a knee that's already jacked Honestly, up. Honestly, though, they're going to, you know, they're going to use my knee against me. So, yeah. got to just make the best decision. I would love to be a Patriot again, of course, yeah. but um, just playing the best scenario for me and my family and things like that. So, whatever the best offer is and who's going to use me, uh, I'm willing to go. But I All would right. love to be a Patriot All again. Right. So, so speaking of being in the best situation, uh -huh. I mean. You had three different offensive coordinators, right? I mean, you never really got the chance to settle into an offense. Do you think that, I mean, how'd that affect you coming in each year and have to learn new stuff and not being able to settle in? What does that do to you? It's tough, man. Uh, you know, playing for Kyle Shanahan, too, I learned a complex offense. And then Josh McDaniels, it yeah. was a complex offense. So I've learned a lot. So it, it wasn't as hard to learn new things. Yeah. It was more the relationships that you have to rebuild. So that's the hard okay. part. Um, I think that's more the struggle. So even for Mac, like it's not the it's not the the system. It's more of the how is this coach relatable to me? Yeah. How do he work with me? How do I work with him? So I think that's more the struggle. But younger guys, maybe. Yeah. So if you're a younger guy and you got three new guys, that might be that's harder. Mess you, up. you know what I'm saying? So so speaking of, I mean Mac Mac's on the same process, right? Uh -huh. New coordinators. Mm -hmm. Do you think he got done dirty? Did he get a raw deal in New England? Yeah, because I love Mac. We got a good relationship. Yeah. I think it was just more of the environment for him right. and and not gelling with the OC or the head coach. Yeah. It was just tough, so hopefully so, he bounces back. So what was the internal reaction like, you know, year two of Mac Jones, and they're like, we're going to bring in Joe Judge and Matt Patricia. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it was rough, bro. It yeah. was rough. Everybody feels the same. Right. So you guys were, this, like, the same reaction as the rest exactly. of us. Exactly. Like, the world. <laughs> like, like, Matt Patricia, like, so, like, he wasn't even that good when he coached and, here, dude. And I think Mac's, Mac's so smart, so. Yeah. I think Mac likes complexity. He yeah. likes a complex offense to where he has to think. Right. I think it makes him play better. So, Matt Patricia, we were just so one-dimensional and kind of stagnant. So, yeah. I think Mac didn't. It didn't work with Mac. So, okay. I, as we obviously see. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, do you think he's coming in for his fourth year? Do you think Patriots going to keep him around? Do you think they're going to maybe try to offload him? Because I know this is, a, this is the the bridge year for Mac for Zach Wilson question. for the the rehab. Place, yeah, yeah. Right. You know, the, I, the Sam Darnold year where you send him somewhere else to see if yeah. they can be something. Yeah, think he sticks Sam around, doing great. So I think he sticks around. I think he's too valuable. Yeah, he's like, like the backup role is yeah. so important now. So if they're going to draft someone or whatever they're going to yeah. do, he's a, he'll be a great backup. But I think he could be the starter. I think he could be the guy. Yeah. I, like I said, I got a good relationship with Mac. I'm right. team Mac okay. for sure. Yep. So hopefully it can turn around. But um, I think they should keep him around. He's too valuable. All right, let's talk about that that locker room. And you got Gerard Mayo. You know him. Mm -hmm. you, you've seen him there. Yeah. Um, does he command more respect than another Bill Belichick disciple because he played the game, he's got the Super Bowl <laughs> ring, he has the all-play? I mean, because you've got the other guy, you know, that Belichick coaching tree is, you know, yeah. it's toxic, it's fallow. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. best, best branch is what? Maybe Dayball, maybe Bill O'Brien. Yeah. I mean, does a guy like Gerard Mayo have a better chance of commanding that respect and kind of giving you a half step away from the Patriot way because he, he lived Yeah, there. I think he does. He knows Bill, so I think he's going to gel a different kind of yeah. culture. So he's going to kind of meet the young guys where they are. Yeah but also have that blue collar mentality. So I think he's gonna be a good mixture of them both. So Bill was strict, man. Like those, yeah. every, every, like you said, whatever tree came from him, it was a strict place. You have to have a certain mentality and a work, working mindset to play in the system. So I think uh, Mayo's gonna just help it yeah. be easier for younger guys to transition. So he's gonna be more home. of a player's coach for you? you exactly, yeah, more of a player's coach okay. in that sense. All right, um, so talking about the locker room we mm -hmm. saw a little bit of news break a little bit earlier uh -huh. um what, what was the impact of losing uh, like the veterans you know the guys kind of left piecemeal and especially losing a guy like Devin McCourty what did that do for the locker room especially when you're going through a tough time uh, did that ripple through I mean was that I yeah mean, it's hard be, yeah it's react? hard because now 
you guys got guys like Devin McCarty leaving that know how to live that culture and be an example. So if you don't have those examples, how do you keep this culture going if these guys are? So the era was really ending. So now it's just about new guys stepping up into that role and showing them how the Patriot way needs to be. All right, so you, I mean, you were talking about Shanahan before. Uh -huh. I mean, motion spread offense, big thing. Do you think that wide receiver motion is being called more often in the NFL right now, or you think it's... it's Bro, it's crazy. Yeah. For me, I was motioning a lot yeah. in San Francisco and in New England, yeah. so you, you're kind of more tired, like, before the play. Yeah. But uh, it, it's a way to get um, identifications from the defense if they're in man and yeah. certain things. So we don't just motion for no reason. Right. There's a reason behind it. Right. So it helps the coaches get a better look at what to call. Okay, so when you are when you run that motion, though, when you're making that move, like, I mean, mm -hmm. even they're just bringing you in to be, like, an extra decoy or an inline yeah. block, like, yeah. what are you doing that, so you're not selling it to the defense and, like, what are you clocking down? So that's a good question. Yeah. So you sometimes you motion faster. Yeah. Sometimes you motion slower. And so when you motion fast yeah. and Mac or whoever's cadence is, like, right 80 set, yeah. and you motion it fast, now the defense think he's going to snap it right when you get set. Yeah. But if you motion it slow, it might be another motion after you. So you yeah. motion and then the fullback motions. And so there's different yeah. scenarios that might confuse the defense, make it harder on them. Dude, love that answer, man. <laughs> it's love tough. That. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, we're running out of time, so okay. i got to hit you some quick questions all right, all right, real bet. quick. Let's get it, let's uh, get it. I think I might know your answer, but who's all the right. most unfairly hated quarterback in the NFL right now? Brock Purdy. Oh. Underdog, Mac? I love it, though. Yeah, not Mac, I'm an underdog. Not Mac? Mac, Mac is up yeah. there, but Purdy's but, yeah, taking Purdy, over Purdy's the world. Getting, yeah. Purdy's getting even two back And he's back about to, to win the Super Bowl, yeah. so. Back to back, come back wins. Oh, all right, so that's the call right there, huh? But you're, you're, you have a great point about Mac. Yeah. Mac's number two. <laughs> All right, years 2035. Right, right. We're looking back. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the GOAT coach mm. quarterback combination in the NFL? Is it going to be Brady Ooh. and BB? Is it going to be someone else? Yeah, bro, that, that uh, Patrick Mahomes and Coach Reed is, is serious, man. The true. resume's true. starting great. Um, Brady's dead too, but if he stays on this track, yeah, he's going to get there. It's, it's going to be a problem. Over, so, yeah. problem. He just keeps winning. Those two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, years 2025, 20, uh -huh. where's Bill Belichick going to end up? Woo! I want him to be on TV. I want him to be on media. I was talking about when he put on the helmet, when he put on the little helmet at the yeah. uh, Army game, yeah. he took over the internet. So he know how to go viral. Okay. He know how to go viral with being stalemate. You think he's going to be okay so, reading, reading that ad copy, though? <laughs> I don't know. So, like, oh, I think he's going yeah. to be natural. So okay. I don't know. Right. But I think he, he's a good fit for, for like a role like that. Right, so last, smart. All right, last one for you. All right. Where do you want to play next year? Mm. You already threw out the Patriots. You got an offensive coordinator you want? You, want, you got a team you want? You got a, who do you think is going to use you best? Um, so I got a relationship in Houston. D'Amico okay. Ryan used to yeah. be in San Francisco. Yeah. Bobby Slow. Those yeah. guys are doing great. So I wouldn't mind something yeah, like that. CJ Stroud. Exactly. Man. They got, they, they're in nice. a rebuild, but they're yeah. in a good place. Hook up place, with another so young quarterback, cool. make them better. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.